Your Honor, Athos is not a cat. <laughs> That's slander. I am a lion. So now that we're all here, uh, does anyone remember where we left off? Because I have no idea. Honestly, I forgot to. Uh, 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 Athos is our record keeper. Allegedly. Rip. Because I don't have a McFucking clue. Um. Let's see. I mean, see. We, I thought we were on the way to that one fucking we talk to the rich mayor. person's house, right? Or we talked to the mayor, right? Yeah, oh, we talked to oh. the mayor. I remember. I remember. I was clippity clopping, sneaking with my hooves, trying to follow those guards. Your and ass I got clapped. Think Romanos was with me, mm-hmm. and then we saw them duck off into some bushes to ambush us. I think. Yeah, we've we've played since then. Your oh, ass shit. got clapped. Yeah, your ass yes. got clapped. You are you are kidnapped again. So, oh, that uh, would that would explain why I don't know a single fucking thing about where we are because <laughs> I haven't been here in a minute. So. so so the mouse assistant came and gave us a scroll, and then we went to the tavern filled with jerks, and <laughs> then. We talked to the mayor, who was suspiciously nice, and that's all I remember. I feel like she was also really sad about her sister, though. Yeah, but it was still like I didn't, everybody, we had just gone from that horrible tavern experience, so I don't trust her nicely, her kindness. Um, Like, don't be sympathetic to me. (laughs) I think Nate's right, though. I think you guys were on the way to the manor. And I'm pretty sure it was Romanos who was just like, fuck it, I'm going in. And uh, fuck it. It was empty. We ball. It was empty. Yeah, that did happen. And I think that's when the Nazi boy came back because he, he showed up twice. He came back and told you about the second location. And he gave us a scroll. He gave it to us. And I didn't look at it right away. And we still went inside the manor <laughs> that was empty. And I totally forgot about it because something happened and that took my, all of my attention. Probably Romano's got impatient. When he suspiciously came back <laughs> and a brave little mouse dude came and talked to the lion and yeah. told me to read the scroll and I was like, okay, bet. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, at some point I'll figure out what that was we're just gonna basically pick up you guys were on your way there at the end of last time so the party minus gill you made your way to where you were told the second location is that there was like a cult following the lord of xanthi manor yeah and her sister was part of it and she was upset about that so as you reach what you believe to be your destination Um, Amid a grove of gnarled scrub trees stands a half-fallen stone tower. Rough workers' tents, piles of timbers, and scattered tools about the... Oh, and tools scattered about show that the site appears to be under reconstruction, though little headway seems to have been made in restoring the tower to its former glory. So what are you guys doing? Well, somebody really failed the upkeep on this. Yeah, I've seen worse. Okay, Mainly because I've done the worst. <laughs> well, maybe not me per se, but we'll call it guilt by, guilt by association. You I, can see a couple of things. Um, there are no bugs in your like, eyes today so far. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> Just wait. Just it's wait. A first. That's a first. <laughs> um, so as you further investigate, you're kind of looking around, like you said, for people up in the tower to snipe you out. It looks like the work that has been done, um, you can tell it's probably for show. Like, I don't mean for show, like they're trying to make it look nice to sell it. They're not trying to flip this house. It seems like they're trying to make it look like they're working on it, but something else might be going on. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like a front to me. There's no way that it would look, 
some of this exposed uh, stone and rock and wood would look like this if these guys were actually competent. Hell, I could build a ha house out of mud, you know, faster than these a-holes. Let's call them the three little pigs. How's your mall feeling? Oh, let's, uh, let's put it up there. Wag, wag, wag my big mall like a wait, magic wand. It feels pretty pretty cool to the touch. Feels well, just cool to the touch, huh? Yeah, because I mean, you definitely like get a, a vibe from it whenever it, there's enemies. I mean, obviously the war horns too, but it's cool, calm, okay. and collected. Cool, calm, and collected. I like that. Well, well, it doesn't seem like any imminent danger is coming at, at us, so what do you think? Just go right in. I'm not seeing any people trying to, you know, 360 no scope us here. So What's or that? no quill us. Is that is that the correct terminology? 360 no quill. <laughs> sure, sure. I'm going with it. I'm, I'm, I'm going with it. Yeah, well, let's let's go. All right, I will so... say this. We seem to communicate pretty quickly and pretty accurately when I don't have my blood pressure pressure raised here. <laughs> and I think we all know the reason for that. And that's been two reasons in the past here. At least. And it was an Akmon. It does help. <laughs> or, or <Nicholas. laughs> so as you make your way uh, closer to the tower, um, there, like, there's no door on the outside of it. It's just like an open archway. Inside of the archway is a staircase. Is the staircase going up or down? Down. It is a stone staircase. They appear fairly worn, and you cannot see much past basically where it, it levels out a little bit. Is it a regular staircase or a spiral staircase? And that really only matters just because of the vision in my head. It is regular. Well, you guys want to go down? I don't know. You guys want to maybe... Uh feel out the, the stairs maybe one goes first i can go um i would like to cast detect magic in the staircase area probably, probably a little farther that i can see so you said you cast it like down at the bottom of the stairs yeah just kind of okay. through the hallway in front of us past okay. my field of view there does not appear to be any magic in that room Nothing's lighting up on the magical meter here, but maybe maybe we should be careful for any manual traps just in case. Well, what do you guys want? You want my big fat ass going down there first or to because it might actually trigger it in this old old crusty place? Or you guys want your light feet going on there? I I can definitely go down first if you don't want to. Um, I have no qualms with going down first. All right, I like it. Maybe just bang around a little bit, and I'm sure you'd still be able to dodge some of the traps in just in case. Okay, that seems legit. So yep. I'll walk down the stairs, and I'll uh, take my battle axe, and I'll, I'll like bang it against the walls as I'm going down the stairs. Did I just uh, convince her uh, him to do a uh, her. be a uh, her? Uh, be, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, did I convince her to be a? Uh, a, uh, a cat guinea pig, pretty much. Apparently. Jeez, didn't even have to roll. <laughs> My kitty pig. <laughs> you kitty pig. Kitty pig. I did. I'll uh, ask this. As you descend these stairs and you're kind of clanging your axe along the walls, um, the sound echoes through the hall in front of you. Um, once you reach the bottom, um, the stairs descend about 30 feet before opening to a chamber of worked stone. Two braziers flank the entrance, so a little bit further in, burning with an unnatural aquamarine light. Pillars stand in two rows, each carved with the vis visages of otherworldly creatures. A fountain flows quietly at the end of the room in front of a double door. Another door stands along the west wall, and the wall opposite that appears to have collapsed, revealing a rough pa passageway beyond. 
Guys, come down here. The, these these flames are the same color as Jonos. I look over at Jonos. I'm like, well, I guess I'll, uh, I'll head down first if, uh, if she wasn't able to trigger any traps here. I look down at I look down at my myself and try to look at what color I am as if I've never noticed before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everybody's downstairs now. There's a lot of good cool stuff you can do in the basement. <laughs> All right. I'm looking at these two paths. Uh or three, I'm sorry. I guess what I think the ones that are a little bit more you said a little bit more busted up, right? There, there's one. Um, they called it like I guess it'd be the east wall because the west wall um, was a stone door. I think. Where did that go? Uh, okay, it doesn't say what kind of door. I'm just going to say it's a stone door along the west wall. Uh, the opposite side appears to have collapsed, and then at the end of the hall, like behind the fountain, is a double door. I'm going to simply wave up freaking magic mall boy and uh, just put it in front of like each of the, you know, doorways, see if that, that it detects anything. No. Nope. Nothing. I look back over and I'm like, well, I got nothing. I must say, uh, unless we got more of those physical traps, I think I got nothing. So. So before we choose a path, I'd like to look at the uh, the one that's like in shambles or whatever has like fallen down, mm. uh, and and like see if I can discern if that was like a natural occurrence or if something happened. Like, what was that caused by man? Um, I I won't even make you roll for that. I would say like you can't really discern whether it was natural or unnatural necessarily. Um, it could easily have been time, but you see like past where that is. It's basically just that the door has like fallen, uh, maybe a little bit of the roof collapsed, but it's just now um, like a doorless hallway essentially. Okay, absolutely. Um... And uh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, guys, where do you think we should go? I'm probably busy checking out the fountain. Just looking, looking at it, seeing if anything suspicious is going on. But also it's water, so I'm just naturally drawn to it. Well, What's everybody's passive perception? Only, uh, only three or 13, what? I'm sorry. Okay, I was like, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, no, I think no. you would be dead if it was a three. Jonas, what was yours? 15. Okay. Um, so, Jonas and Athos, you hear like scuffling, like feet possibly or something uh, moving about, like trying to, clearly trying to be quiet in this chamber. Jonas, I hope that rat didn't follow us. I'm sorry, he's a mouse. Once I'm alerted to the noise, start just looking around trying to find the direction that it might be coming from okay um so as you all are on alert romanos your mall starts like vibrating oh yeah here we go all right <laughs> guys i'm getting that good nice nice tingly feeling that everyone gets you know from time to time you know when they want to feel special i say we go down this path yeah, your, your massage wand is on, like, the first setting right now. Perfect. What does full-blown shake weight look like? What kind of monster? Ooh, you don't, you don't want to know. <laughs> Romanos, like I said, your mall starts to kind of vibrate. It's tingly. Everyone is on alert. And so as you all are looking around, Romanos, what were you, like, were you just kind of in the middle of the room, or were you checking out anything in particular? Last thing I was doing, I was kind of just holding up my my mall, like you know, in random directions. So wherever that wherever that tingling sensation started happening, I'd still be in that position, you know, like oh yeah, here we go, you know, and I'd right. be pointing 
looking at, you know, probably <laughs> fairly close to whatever entrance, you know, you right. know is uh, making that okay. feeling. So Romano's, it, it, he's kind of pointing towards the west door, um, the one that's opposite of where you were, Athos. This isn't a horribly big room. It's like 30 by, I think that's 30, math. So it's not huge, but he's on the opposite side of the room, more or less. And so from the two pillars that are closest to the fountain, these strange creatures that are like bigger than human brains, but it essentially it is like a brain floating in the air at like what would be the front of the brain is a large beak like a bird um, from the bottom of this brain are eight tentacles with his little like bristly barbs at the ends of them with a very sharp point at the very tip and they are going to go after jonas still let the bird brains get ya bird brains that's what I like to hear. Everyone go ahead and roll initiative. Initiative. Oh, yeah. It's a whole three. Nice. I'm gonna stand by that. <laughs> 15. 13. Not gonna lie, I low key thought it was gonna be like, and it's actually Gil running down that hallway, escaped from the people. <laughs> Just butt ass naked, you know, coming down the way, you know, and just in unique they, fashion, they, they singing took all the way everything. down. <laughs> but he's he's basically naked anyway. Basically. It's nice to know that Even Romano me. just pictures me naked all the time. I mean, Gil, oh, you are Gil, not me, Gil. <laughs> Gil, go ahead and also roll initiative. No. Okay. Well, fuck off. Uh, eighteen. Oops. <laughs> uh. You can go into Brittany. That'd be fine. Brittany I was Anderson? just about to say that. Oh, baby, Oops, baby. I did it again. That too. That's, that's Brittany Spears, though. But yeah, you <laughs> can go into Brittany. All right, so Gil, you actually rolled highest on initiative. So you have been held prisoner for a while, but this is not your first time being captive. You've learned some tricks. Much like last time, you managed to set yourself free, essentially. And as you are running away, you see your friends who are about to get attacked. You see the two grells, the brain bird creatures. You also see a couple of cultists like hiding behind some pillars. So you get to act first. What are you doing? So I'm picturing Gil just like running through the hallway, like very speedily, and just like notices everything going on, and like stops, like kind of comically, like in like a cartoon, you know, like his hooves kind of across the pavement or stones or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a, trying to be like, "Hey, what's up, fucks and fuckettes?" But not really, because this is Greece, so I probably wouldn't talk like that. But uh, uh, I could, oh, wow. yeah. I don't know. Sure, why not? Uh, I guess it's not Greece; it's New Alexandria. But uh, anyway, history lesson. Do I know what the brainy birds are? Uh, no, you have no fucking clue. Okay, but so they are spooky. Okay. So I'm going to immediately be like, let's not touch that. But I noticed, <laughs> you said I noticed the cultists hiding behind some pillars. You see two of them. Yeah. They're like, um, so where you're coming out of is um, the like ruined door to the east. Mm -hmm. um, and so like there's two pillars. Like, as soon as you would come out of that hallway and, like, behind each one, somebody is, like, hiding. Okay, do I have my gear? Sure. They didn't really tie you up all that well. They okay. seem kind of, like, lazy cultists. Like, they're not really trying that hard. How far away am I from the people, the hiding cultists? Mm, maybe, like, 10 feet. And they're pretty close to each other? Ish. They're, like, 10 feet apart. More like 15, actually. And then I would like to cast Cloud of Daggers, but I got to make sure exactly what the range is on it. Give me just a moment. Just FYI. Yes. Athos, Athos is directly in between those two pillars. Oh, well, um, RIP Athos. It's okay. No, okay. 
So instead you of attacking them, it's no. okay. You could do it. Do it. No, no. Do I it, can't. little guy. You can I, do it. I can't. I can't. Oh my god. I can't. That's just is facing away uh, from me. Just, just for clarification, uh, she is like sh- looking at Romanos, who is, or who like, as you were coming around the the corner. Um, he was like pointing his maul at the the door on his side of the room. To your left is what? a fountain, and Jonos with the two grills, the bird brains. I want to use thaumaturgy and yell at them to scare them, but also to let the team know that there's guys back there. I'm just gonna stop and be like, "Whoa, there's dudes behind those pillars." <laughs> so you can't. do still have an action with Athos's sword. With Athos's sword? Do I still have Athos? Oh, I still have Athos's sword. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the things we talked about while you were gone. And it was like, that fucker still has my sword. <laughs> that motherfucker still has my carp's tongue sword. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the movie where the guy is charging the enemies. It's kind of like a comedy fantasy. That narrows it down so hard. Oh, I'm trying to think of what it is. But he's running at the enemies. It's, it's really kind of like cringe and funny. Um because he's always... I was gonna say Lord of the Rings until you said that. <laughs> well, he's obviously like not like a warrior or a fighter. Oh, he's... I was definitely uh... gonna say like three hundred until you said that. So never mind, I retract like my the... statement. So just picture like, just picture like the really cool like fantasy guy like rushing into battle with his sword like ah! only it's a little fat goat man missing a horn and with a limp and yeah, a nipple it's piercing. Phil from Disney's Hercules, but yeah. one less horn with a nipple ring. And a limp. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm also yelling that I'm so excited to see everybody. (laughs) I don't know what I'm going to say here. Words. Hello. You just yell loud words. Leave my family alone. Because where I'm from, I don't have friends. I have family. (laughs) So are you attacking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the point. Okay. Nate's still trying to process what you just did. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, uh, I got a 16. I, 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 no, Romanos first goes, turns back, and he's just like, oh, God. I'm going to need more blood pressure medications here. Can I change from using the longsword to using my ram attack instead, or is it too late? Oh, I'll allow it. Let's use my ram attack, because that's going to be more fun for, in my head. So okay. I'm running up, and I'm just going to ram the fuck out of the first guy. Okay. Uh, so uh, I rolled like a 16. Right. I can roll again left if you're right. left. Okay. Because I'm picturing uh, me coming from the left, so I don't know. Or maybe I, I mean, run past the first guy and hit the second guy or something. I don't know. So, like, like the pillars are just, like, one on either side. That's why I asked left or right. So, like, the left, left guy, you'd have to, like, go to him. Definitely uh, left. Yeah, fuck, fuck left. Yeah. Let's go left. Go to him. It's, I'm a NASCAR, right. so. So, yeah, a 16 hits. Roll your damage. NASCAR. It's NASCAR. That's now canon. We decided like a month or so ago. So it's 1d4 plus strength. So six. Nice. Um, yeah. So you like ram this dude in the ass with your one horn and like, you know, your dome also. And you, you fuck him up. Like he looks bad. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm guessing that my horn definitely penetrated. Um, or whatever you know it's not pointing yeah, yeah. but i just wanted to use the word penetrate so <laughs> so after gill would be the grells grells are going to both attack jonas one will definitely hit with its tentacle and that does seven damage also jonas i need you to roll a constitution save Oh, 13. Okay, cool. You pass your save, but you still take the seven damage. And after them, it would be Jonas. You get to react to that. Can I? No, never mind. It's not my turn. Just kidding. You played yourself. Go, Jonas. Go, go, Jonas. Go, 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 Jonas, Jonas. Go. Oof, watch out where you're swinging those tentacles. I kind of rear back because it stung pretty bad. Give me a good old wallop. It's kind of like a jellyfish. I am gonna turn around and hex it 
the one that hit me specifically. Try that again, and I'm going to give it disadvantage on dexterity checks. Hex is a bonus action. So yeah. Is it still pretty close to me? Like yeah. they didn't... Yeah. yeah. It's not like super high in the air or anything. No, it's just kind no. of floating. Wipe whip out the trident rather than try to find a crossbow. Get it off my pack. Do some spinny trident moves and attempt to hit it. I love that Jonah started with, I'm going to whip out something. I'm going to whip my fins back and forth. <laughs> That one misses for sure. I'll be making that cover and dropping it on uh, Gil's. It's a nine. The second one's a dirty 20. That does hit. Cool. 10 damage. And I think that'll probably be it for my turn. Seems legit. All right, Athos. I forgot when you hit a creature with an attack after you hex them, there's an extra 1d6 necrotic damage added mm. to the yeah, attacks that you that. hit. So, plus three necrotic damage, so 13. Athos. Playing the rules, what is this? Okay. Um, so, can I see the cultists that are there? I mean, you can definitely see the one that... I mean, Gil didn't push him very far, but, like, definitely pushed him out of cover. Um, okay. And he, he yelled that there were cultists, so, like, you can assume that there's probably more than one because he said cultists. Not like cultist. Yeah, absolutely. The one that he pushed out, I would like to whisper to him. I want to use Disney whispers before I tell you my whisper. He has to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, uh-huh. well, what is the DC? Spell save is 15. Okay, uh, he passes. He got a 19 on the dice. Okay, that's fine, because he is still going to take half damage. Nice. And um, so I'm going to whisper to him, don't you think you should die? Stick a dagger in your eye. If you think that you're in pain, take the dagger out and try again. Fucking sick rhyme, bro. So then half of 11 damage. No, psychic damage is what he will take. Okay. How do you want to kill him? So he, like, grabs his head and, like, kind of starts shrieking like he's in pain. And then he just kind of collapses. I I would think, like, you know, maybe some blood coming out of his eyes. Oh, yeah, I'm here for that. His All his orifices just start oozing blood. All of them. Asshole All of them. oozing blood. You can't tell yet, but you'll, you will. <laughs> Wait. Give it a minute. <laughs> The rest uh, of that spell doesn't matter then. I want to go move over by his body. Or actually, is there a way I can get within 10 feet of the, uh, oh like, God. one of the other cultists? That is fine as hell. So, I mean, you would have to, like, search around, because you don't know exactly where they are. That's totally you, fine. You can kind of assume, but you would have to, like, move and look for them. Okay. Um... Well, I still want to move over by the other cultists that I just killed. Okay. And look for the other cultists. Or other threats, I suppose. Roll an investigation check. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. What is it? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's a nine. Uh, you don't see shit. Okay, good. My investigative skills are negative. I mean, Atha should be on Bad Boys in Alexandria with those kind of investigative skills. She kind of negative. I think we all know, I think Athos knows that curiosity does kill the cat, so. True, true. That's why. It's okay. okay, she's devoted to the cause. All right, so after Athos is the cultists. Um, yeah, so the other one that Gil, you could see, is like beating feet for sure. He will draw an attack of opportunity though from you, my dude. Let's do it. Get it. Let's do it to it. I can find my 20. It was hiding. Sneaky little bastards. Like 11. On the dice or total? Total. 
that do not hit. Yeah, I didn't figure. Got to be quicker than that. So I just picture Gil like swinging his sword, like, <laughs> like you know. Yeah, you get like the end of his chitin. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Listen, so wait, is it my turn now? Yes. No, no, damn. Yeah, that was just your reaction. All right, after the cultist, Jonas might not notice because Jonas is now in mortal combat with two weird bird brain things. But the rest of you noticed that there were two more cultists in addition to the one that Gil just tried to stab unsuccessfully. And they all find the nearest door and they just run through it. Okay, well, so they're just gone. They all run past Gil, but you only get one reaction. It's your turn now, Romano. I can't do anything. Yeah, it's your turn though. Oh, it is? Oh, it's my actual turn. Okay, yeah. never mind. I thought it was like a reaction thing and that somebody else still had to go. Never mind. You're okay. so close. Nah, boy. You're so you're so cute, Romanos. <laughs> okay. So I guess I see the them trying to get away. And immediately I'm just like, nah, bitch. One of you one of you fuckers is staying. So then they're, uh, they're gone. <laughs> they are gone. Damn yeah. it. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Well, I guess, uh, fine. I guess your little bird brain guys will just have to do. So let's see. How far away are, are one of these bird brain boys from me? Oh, like 20 feet. Oh, you just had to say 20 feet. <laughs> nah. Why? Um, uh, oh, not, nothing. Not, oh. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, then. It's a mystery musk tool. The mystery mouse tool. Uh-huh. All right. I'm just going to uh, rush up to one, uh, one of the bird brains. One of them is going to get some inflict wounds on his bitch ass. Nice. We can actually roll well here. Absolutely not. Not allowed. No, never. Of course not. <sighs> it's been a minute, guys. <laughs> Not even lying. It has been a fucking minute. All right. How does a 19 fare? Uh, that will work. That'll work. Okay. Let's uh, bring out some dice. Also, are you... We're just doing a regular one... first one. Are you taking the one that attacked Jonas or the undamaged one? Undamaged one. I figured. Come on, Rick. You know me so well. I don't take sloppy seconds. Come on. Yeah, you got to solo this bitch. Of course. Come on. All right. Bless it. This is what happens when I don't have my fucking cards anymore, Rick. Why'd you steal them? <laughs> I mean, if I stole them, then they're missing from my house, too. All right. That's not bad. That's 17 damage. So nice. It's four more than Jonas. All right. Did, so. so 17 damage on the inflict wounds on that bit. Okay. Well, then. So that's going to be some necrotic damage. Don't know if that's going to give them extra brain damage on that as well. No. Then let's do do War Priest ability. Nice. Get a sledgy sledgehammer out. All right. So first we got a hit. And that is a natty one. Woo! <laughs> that will not do it strangely enough. What? That's garbage. <laughs> Who would have really fucking glad. actually? I will ask you this. Could I could I do a lucky on that so I could avoid that or no? Does are lucky gonna, use a or bonus since action? it's since it's natty one, I was gonna ask. Does, does lucky use a bonus action? You have three luck points whenever you make an attack roll and ability check, yada yada yada. You can spend one luck uh, luck points roll an additional D20. You can Yeah, you so can it doesn't even use one. it doesn't use any kind of action. You yeah, go for it. Yep, you get so. one re-roll on this one. All right. Love it. Yeah, not much better. A 15. I mean, that hits. <laughs> what? It's a 15. That's I mean, not I bad. like one. Sorry, it's just I, I've been playing a higher level campaign. And if you don't get anything above a, like, even just on your regular roll before the modifiers, like, if you don't get anything above a nine, you're pretty much fucked so <laughs> okay. 
So, all right. So, um, roll that. Right, so let's do a sledgy sledge. See how that bad boy goes. God, I can do all my physical dice this time, Rick. <laughs> but that is only going to be a three. Or wait, no, three plus. So only nine extra damage. So. Damn, only nine. Not you that wisely. Yeah. No, I mean that's that's pretty good. That's 26 total. Cool. So we right. are back up and to uh, just in time for him to and I will just Is gladly it? already have, you know, finally getting the bloodlust back in me. I'm like, does anything splatter quite yet when I, I've been hitting them at all or no? Oh yeah, I mean. It's just like this clear fluid. Oh, I haven't seen this fluid in a while. <laughs> it's clear. It's not milky white. <laughs> and, damn. It's like, why did my mind ain't that far in the gutter? It's cerebrospinal fluid. I knew what it was. Uh, Jeez. Get it, Gil. Get it. So I watched Gr Gromano Gromanos. Fuck. Gromano? My fucking brain right now is kind of like the brain that Romanos just killed. Do you just want to see it? Well, I didn't kill it yet. Yet. Get the shit out of whatever. Uh, so I'm like, oh, you know, for everybody listening, I was doing like my O face, only it's not, that's not the right term. That's not what I meant. Uh, that's what I fucking that's said, though. That's so. <laughs> anyway, here we are. <laughs> I look like a fucking hairy blow-up doll over here. My uh, God. Also, that's being recorded. So <laughs> I have that forever. <laughs> forever and ever. I'm like fucking like hella shocked at what Romanos just did to that brain monster. And I'm going to jump in and try to also do the same thing to the brain monster. The same one he just attacked or the one oh, that's I'm, attacking am I, am I, Wait, there's... Oh, yeah, no. Got to protect Jonas at all costs. National treasure. Uh... So I'm rolling up on the one that's attacking Jonas, and I want to try just call and... him. Just call you Nick Cage. Yeah, exactly. I just want to smoke that motherfucker with my sword. Obviously, I don't want to actually smoke it because that probably isn't good for my lungs. You never know. Here we go. I'm rolling a d20. It's my white one that failed me last time. Do it. Twelve. Yeah, that hits. Hey, fuck you, ho. Respectfully. What? Three. Yeah. Okay. I, what else you doing? Fucking perfect. Well, I'm apparently fucking up my thing. Uh, I'm gonna. I want to give Bardic Inspiration to Romanos, but I don't know what to say to him because he's always mean to me. So, uh, how can I inspire somebody who doesn't like me? I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, I had a whole whole page of quotes one time I was gonna use for Bardic Inspirations, and now I can't remember what they were. So I don't know, my guy. Uh, I'm gonna look at Romanos and be like, Romanos, hammer them as hard as you get hammered at the tavern, <laughs> or something nice. along those lines. Nice. I look at him a little bit confused at first, but then I'm like, oh, "Fuck it!" One of the first things I've heard you say that I, I don't actually hate. Well, fuck it. <laughs> Sweet. So I am going to have to end it here for the night. Find out next time on Hammer of the Gods. Bye, everybody. It's good seeing you. Don't forget. Nice seeing you. We're going to hang out. Bye. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Bye-bye.